Good morning, John. This may have been the second oddest weekend of my life. I peruse Portland real estate with a Mythbusters wife on an iPad owned by Adam Savage. Yes, you could say that my perception of reality was ravaged, but imagine that wasn't even the weirdest bit, and you're gonna shoot a brick when you hear the rest of it. So sit down and listen to me rhythmically talk about the weekend that I participated in Woodstock. Now I'm on the plane home, and I just want to remember it. Hearing Adam Savage saying Daddy likes my music, and I'm gonna listen to the front of a lot 200 tracks back to back, which is probably why I wrote out this song as a rap, but I hope. Hope whoever sits in 90 next doesn't gag Cause I'm writing down these lyrics on the back of the barf bag For me it began when I landed in Seattle at 2 o'clock And then by 3 I was talking with the king of nerd hip-hop MC front a lot as he's professionally known Could probably cure cancer with his headlamp and a microphone Then Molly walked in with her adorable grin And her boyfriend Chris And her assistant Kristen too Girls want you, don't fear it won't make you puke Unless you're easily nauseated by things that are normally cute And then I felt like I was losing control of my brain Because the drummer of the presidents of the USA was hanging with me Making jokes telling me to be strong Like he jumped right out of my tape player and into my song And then my friend Steven Toulouse walked by He decides to listen to eyes on Xbox Live He's the guy with a band of hammer on the largest gaming platform And we were all brought here by Messrs. Paul and Storm Who were in good form and bought the pizza I was eating When I learned just how nerdy was the nerd Will Wheaton He was adorably excited, jumping up and down His smile was the inverse function of a frown Taken to the 1024th power I did my best not of anger for the whole next hour And then I was on the stage just in Yearning my wig, Picard had thrown me into overdrive and said, Engage, Engage. my cheeks hurt from the laughing. It was so much freaking fun. Savage traction front a lot and loading, ready, run, and then done. And we were up there taking our bow, like, wow, the crowd's so loud, I could not understand how this had happened to me. I mean, I'm just another gig, but last week it had a freaking unique streak. Just a couple of days ago, the world was planting me trees, and now I'm up in front of a thousand geeks living my dreams. I'm prepared to accept this as the pinnacle of my career. I don't mind if it's all downhill from here, because here's a pretty good place to be downhill from. I mean, there's an awful lot of hill there before you hit the bottom. And in the morning, my goodness, I saw that Will Wheaton had pulled out his Blackberry and done some tweeting. He tweeted, I killed it, and from what he could hear, my set of all of those at Woodstock got the biggest cheer. I'm not really concerned about whether this is true or not, it just makes me pretty grateful there's a thing called Woodstock. Yeah. Woodstock. It's a rap that I did about Woodstock. And the beat, the beat is... The beat just keeps going. When do I stop? I, I don't have any more words. Oh, okay. John, how is this my life? The show went really well. If I do say so myself, everyone was hilarious the whole time, and, and my part went well too. So I'm putting a link in my pants down here so that you can go check it out, and there will also be an invitation at the end of the video, which is just about right now. So, John, I will see you on Friday in which you answer some awesome questions. Nerdfighter questions. Bye-bye.